going to do right now, the reason that we did that is Ashley Judd is in a new movie called Eye of the Beholder. We sent out our random reviewer for the day, well-known actor, Kamani Ray Smith. Hello, how Welcome. are you? Hello, hello. Now, make yourself at home. You know, we don't want you to be, be uncomfortable comfy. on our set. Yeah. And, you know. Just chill. Very comfortable. No, right. we went you to, uh, we went, I got you to go see. We went you to go see. Uh, Thank you, George wow. Bush. <laughs> I appreciate that. Whoa, right back to last week. Um, to go see Eye of the Beholder. Uh, yeah. Of course, with Ashley Judd, also with Ewan McGregor. Yeah. First of all, uh, Kamani, if you could give us a brief synopsis of the film. Uh, it's basically about a, a British intelligence agent played by Ewan McGregor who is the eye, and the beholder, I guess, is uh, Ashley Judd, who... Uh, <laughs> the beholden. The beholden, yes. And uh, basically, he's stalking her surveillance, a lot of Good cool idea. gadgets, yeah. Uh, she's a serial killer and hustler. She is? Anyway, she Nothing has changed. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, my God. We're exactly Ladies the same. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamani Ray Smith is joining us 11 years later. <laughs> yes. That was actually right. in our Metro Town studios in the year 2000. <laughs> Love that. Kamani is here once again to talk about a movie, this time uh, with actor Ryan Robbins. They uh, put together a wonderful little lighthearted love story called mm. Supper. Mm, How yeah. are you? It's a lovely Excellent. story of boy meets girl. Uh, yeah. Kamani, <laughs> Come on, where man. did you find that tape? <laughs> That was in my archives. I'm kind of like a pack rat. I never throw anything away. Yeah. So it's just like I have a mountain of tapes. Well, and, and you guys were talking, through. Ryan, that you guys have known each other since you were uh, in Teenagers. high school. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, and you 14, actually 15. did a project, and you kept that as well yeah. from like 25 years ago. Yeah, we both, I think we may have the only two surviving copies. Come so. on, has one and I have one. Now, is this the first PSA. time you guys have worked together since you made the little PSA action? Yeah, yeah. like in this capacity. I mean, we've, we've worked in, on various shows, like, and, and we've crossed paths many yeah. many times of course we've stayed friends the whole time but uh this is the this is the first time uh, in, in this capacity. Now, Kamani, I'm going to turn to you because uh, our producer warned me because she knows how I am with horror stuff that this was super <laughs> duper graphic, and that's an <laughs> understatement. You're using appendages it looks to fight. It so real. Yeah. But tell us about Suffer. Uh, Suffer is about a kidnapped professional fighter, played by Ryan Robbins here. Um, he gets thrown into an underground fight tournament. And he loses that match and is presumed dead and kind of wakes up in the horrors of Hell's Kitchen. It oh, truly wow. is the horrors of Hell's Kitchen. Now, Ryan, you really do uh, some fighting yourself. How was it shooting uh, these scenes here that we're watching? It was really fun for me, um, you know, the, especially because we had such a fantastic crew and, you know, Kamani uh, directing, and that's big, big Fraser right there. They all took really good care of me. He doesn't look that big. I had just, uh, <laughs> right, but. Before we shot, about a week before that, I'd actually um, separated my shoulder. I guess it was maybe two weeks before that I separated my shoulder. So we had to rework a couple of things here and there. And, uh, <laughs> and, and it was fun, man. It was. I never get to play that. I mean, I've been uh, studying martial arts my whole life, and I actually never get to play fighters To actually very use often. it. Yeah. And the choreography in this is amazing. And Kamani, that's part of what you do as well, right? Yeah, I do stunt coordinating. Um, actually, we had a, a guy who choreographed this named Brian Ho. He was also actually our editor, our uh, he was key missing camera, everything. Yeah, yeah, he did yeah. everything, color correction. How, mu how much time do you guys spend working on this, Ryan? I mean, when you're doing a, a choreographed fight scene like that, how much time do you have to sort of put it all together? And we were really lucky to have some uh, rehearsal time. Yeah, uh, we had a day rehearsal. We did a full day rehearsal, which was great. And like Kamani said, I mean, it was one of the, honestly, one of the best crews I've ever worked with. These guys were, they had it all dialed and, and uh, they took really, really good care of me. Because it's intense. It's really, it was really intense. Yeah, I mean, the fight's Don't only... Don't laugh at me, of, I almost threw up watching it. Yeah. The fight's only the beginning, and then it gets gorier yeah. and gorier as yeah. it goes. But it's beautifully shot. That's the Thank great you. thing, is the cinematic quality of this is just... Yeah, beautiful. that was uh, our DP, Terry Kim. And we shot it all on the 70s, the Canon 7D cameras, like just the stills cameras, and yeah. Amazing. You're kidding yeah. me. It was pretty yeah. cool, too, because we, we literally hit the ground running, as you see at the beginning of the film. And we, it just, it, it, it starts it at 11 and then keeps going. And you think, well, where are you going to go from here? And then you keep watching, and it's <laughs> just oh, like, you go. oh, there my God, scenes. oh, my God, oh, my God. Come on, there are yeah. scenes in this, I wasn't kidding, where people are using arms during a fight. Yeah. Not, they're, <laughs> not like, uh, like, <laughs> rip it off and hit each other with yeah. an arm. Yeah. yeah where does this fact. kind of weirdness come from <laughs> when you're fighting? <laughs> Uh, this is actually uh, kind of an adaptation of a script that we had called Evil Feed. Um, and it was all about a restaurant that kind of caters to uh, cannibals. Yeah. And they kidnap fighters to have uh, mm -hmm. entertainment. We call it tendertainment. You can watch your meat being tenderized. 
So oh my God. it kind of it kind of led into this. This is not making you look any more normal. Yeah. <laughs> not, okay. not well, we wanted, you know what? We really wanted to do like a genre piece. It's yeah. not a lot of genre comes out of Canada. You know yeah. what I mean? So Absolutely. we really we wanted to do that. We were talking about that this morning. That that it's really fun to see someone sort of stretch the envelope of, of what's being done here locally as well yeah. and kind of push that a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to see a scene here, Ryan, uh, and uh, this is you. Did we already see it? No. I'm paying no. attention. Hi. This is you um, <laughs> finding out that you're not quite DEAD. Exactly. Yeah. This is uh, this is this is the moment of, uh, of 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 awakening for me, so yeah. to speak. That there's some real danger here and. Uh, uh, and for everyone else to realize that maybe they're, uh, may maybe the cow. I quite thought this killed. was going to be veering towards the end of no, the film. No, oh, no, here is a scene. No, no, no. From you supper. ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, and it just goes from there. And honestly, it was the most uh, intense 20 minutes of filmmaking that I've, I'm serious, <laughs> that I've seen in quite some time. It must, it's going to be really fun to watch this in theaters with an audience. Yeah, I still oh. haven't even seen it on the big screen yet. And I'm like and the super sound, excited. Just that, the sound, like yeah. even just watching that, just hearing the chains and the music. And yeah. so that was actually probably one of the toughest scenes of the movie for me, to be honest. How Why? come? Because I'm, I'm just moderately claustrophobic, <gasps> and to be wrapped in a plastic bag, knowing that you have to like tear yourself out of it. And so it that actually gets a little bit of the and desperation. To take, that, to take that deep breath and just <gasps> and have the, all that plastic bag. Oh, that would be like mouth, drowning. For yes. me, it was like that was like well, they were there. He, he, well, come on, he knows, yeah. right? He knew about it. Yeah. So they, they took really good care of me, but I was like, yeah. Oh, this this that was the scariest. Ryan never come to my house on a Friday night. <laughs> that disturbs you. Par for the course. Just, just okay, so uh, Suffer is going to be screening at VIF, and also yeah. at VIF, uh, Ryan, a great film uh, that yeah. Mike and I have had the chance to see. Everything and everyone. Tell us uh, about this movie. It's uh, a really fantastic movie. Uh, Tracy D. Smith uh, approached me with this film uh, and. Uh, Said uh, so. Gabrielle Rose is going to play your mom, and I was like, "Don't even want to see a script. I'm in. Yeah. What do you want?" I'm in. I'm in. And uh, it's an incredible cast: yeah, Taylor Horsdall and Chad Willett and uh, Lane Edwards, uh, Sean Michael Kyer. Great, great sort of ensemble piece about really love is. and yeah. love and loss and determination oh and struggle, and, and yeah. it's just family. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, like know? the like, universal family, you know, like yeah. the family of friends and, and friends coming together. And yeah. uh, it was an absolute treat, you know, to be a part of that. And very, very different for you from Suffer because no one gets eaten <laughs> in everything. No, in everything. no one, one gets eaten. person is eaten in that. Maybe film. a little bit in the end credits we try to yeah. show just, some just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Yeah. You Thanks guys, so much, you guys. That was a ride. I loved okay, watching that film uh, last night. You can great. go to the VIF website to find out the screening times of both Suffer and everything and everyone. Go see both of them. Yeah, absolutely awesome. We're going to take a break.